middle of the night. This lighting is terrible and I am so ready to jump into this project. So let's go. This version is just about as easy as you would imagine. I took an old cardboard box and cut a circle out of it. Uh, the way I got the size of the circle is I found this template online um, and I printed it off and used that to trace out my circle, cut it out, wrote everything that I wanted on each side on it, and added the little chore wheel sticker in the middle. That's a uh, chalkboard sticker. I just Lastly, I super glued a piece of magnetic tape to the pack so it would stick to my refrigerator. The ends can get kind of messy on this, so I would suggest lining it with some sort of glitter glue, or I also would recommend uh, stringed pearls or uh, gems or something just to clean up the edges, but I think this one works fine for me. One way to symbolize who is on what duty during which week, you could always use clothespins to mark up each side. The method that I'm currently using though is the magnet method. I found these really cute magnets that came with a dry erase board I got. I wrote the names of all of my roommates on each of them and as the job switch you just switch the magnets. Uh, there's also this option for this cute spinning chore wheel, which I made out of mostly cardstock. You could decorate it pretty much however you want with stickers and etc. But it will actually spin and all the names of your roommates will all be on it and all the chores as well. So what I did to start this one is I took four pieces of cardstock in four colors that I liked. And I split them into fourths and placed them together in two basically new sheets of paper with the different quarters and I taped them together at the sides. From there I found something circular in a smaller size and a larger size and I traced out the circles on each portion. Once you have your hole cut out, you're going to fold it in half and with a hole punch, make a hole in the center. Set it to look like this. Finally, I took one of these folding clips, pushed it through both of the holes and folded it over so that I would have the two pieces attached. Obviously I didn't spend too much time perfecting this. As you can see this bottom side is a lot larger and this top side is a lot larger. So they definitely aren't perfect but I just wanted to show you what these look like. Also these come in uh, forms where you don't have to push it through the paper and like clip it in like a stud. I would highly recommend using those instead. This is just what I had on me. With a little extra time and effort, this could be a really cute thing and extremely useful when you have uh, roommates for the first time at college or really whenever you think you're going to need the motivation to finish all your chores. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find use out of this and I'm going to go take a nap because this fluorescent lighting is giving me a headache. <laughs> See ya.